Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Our video today is discussing relative pronouns. We have who, whom, which, where, or on which, when, at which, and whose. Who, if I say the teacher who explained the lesson, comma, is helpful. Whom, this is the boy whom I saved yesterday. Which, this is the car which I own. Siwa Oz, where dates are produced, comma, is located in the Western Desert. When? Summer is the time when we go to the beach. Whose? This is the boy whose father works as a doctor. Of course, who, whom, and which are replaced by that. It is a must, or we use that as the first option. If we have any, only, it is, this is, and all. But we don't use that if we have a comma or a preposition that precede that. Also, where in which, when at which, and whose are supposed to be followed by subject and verb. If we have these examples, not all space glitters is gold. Shall we use that or which? Of course, if we look to the sentence, we have all. So, we have to choose between that and which. Because of all, we will choose that. The second. This is the pen for I pay $20. Of course, we have this is. If we have seen this is, so our thinking will go to that. But if we look closer to the sentence, we have the proposition for. Because of the preposition for, we don't use that, we use which. So, this is the pen for which I pay $20. Next, Siwa Oz's space is located in the Western Desert, is famous for producing dates. Once we have seen Siwa Oz's, we think that this is a place. But take care, we have her verb. So, we are supposed to use which, not where. Because where is supposed to be followed by subject and verb. All novels which are written by Najib Mahfouz are available at bookshops. Take care. Which are written. Relative pronoun, verb to be, plus past participle. In this case, I can omit the relative pronoun and verb to be to be replaced by comma. So I can say the sentence as follows. All novels, comma, written by Najib Mahfouz, comma, are available at bookshops. The next sentence, Muhammad Salah, who is a talented footballer, football player, comma, has scored a lovely goal. Of course, here, a relative pronoun plus verb. In the beginning of the sentence, I can simply get the gerund form from the main verb to be preceded by comma. So I can say, Muhammad Salah, comma, being a talented player, comma, has scored a lovely goal. Next, where is the pin which I have given you? Of course, here, here we have a relative pronoun plus subject and verb. Take care, who, whom, and which in addition to that. If we have a subject and a verb that, follow, that follows them, so I can simply omit the relative pronoun to be replaced by comma. So I can say, where is the pin, comma, I have given you. The last sentence, Fatima solved the riddle. She is smart. Fatima subject and the subject she. This sentence has two solutions. I can say, Fatima who solved the riddle, comma, is smart. Or, Fatima who is smart, comma, solved the riddle. Thank you. Follow us in our next videos.